Hello everybody and welcome back to our Rain World modding tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can add a custom pearl to the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find your, your mod folder, head into modify and add a new text file called custom pearls.txt. And inside here, is where you're going to add your Perl initialization. So since this is in modify, we're going to want to add, and then we're going to want to come up with a unique ID for our Perl. So you might name it something like XX underscore Perl light pink. That is a unique ID. And you'll probably want to use your region's acronym somewhere in it, just, just to make sure that it's unique. Whatever you name it, this will be what you look for in the game when you add it to a room. Now, we're going to need to pick out two colors. There is this nifty, handy little website that I use for, you know, color picking if I'm not, like, using a paint software. So let's see, we want a light pink pearl. So it's something. And we're going to want to copy this hex number down here. And we're going to add that separated by a colon. Then we want to pick another color. This color will be the highlight color of the pearl. So that's the little like twinkle glint that it has sometimes to let you know that it's there. Let me be a little bold and set it to cyan. So we're going to do another colon and then that as well. And then the last one is going to be the name of the conversation. It could be the same as your Perl ID, or it could be something completely different. So I might do XX um, pink Perl. They don't have to be the same and they don't have to be different. So now you just save and you're done in the modify folder. Now, back in your mod folder, you're going to want to create a new folder called text. And inside this folder, you're going to make another folder called text underscore ENG. This is the text translation for when your language is set to English. There are other ones. If you want to see which ones um, are available, you'd go into your streaming assets, go into text here, and then this is all of the languages that RainWorld supports. ENG is English, and that's what, you know, I speak, so that's what we're doing. So now you're going to create a new text file and you're going to name this whatever your conversation name was. So that was for me, XX underscore pink underscore underscore Pearl. So it's this. Then inside of this, you're going to want to start the file with a zero, a dash, and then the name of your conversation. And then the next line onwards is the actual conversation. So each new line in this text box will correspond to a new dialogue box. So if I typed something, this is a simple message from me, looks to the moon. And I hit enter and do, this is another text box. This will wait to finish after the first one. If, however, I wanted a second line inside of the same text box, because new lines count as new boxes, you can do this formatting, which is just the word line inside of less than greater than symbols. And then you'll type the second line inside this single box. Now, there are a few more formatting things that might be helpful to know about. 
So, for example, if you want there to be a pause before a text is said, you can type in a number. So if I want to pause for three seconds, let's see, what's three times 20? Um, 60. Then separated by a colon and then the message that I want. So this is a message to... Now, before I continue, you can also use um, player name to sort of replace this with like little creature or little ruffian or, you know, the funny things that Moon says to you. Anyways, now that I'll do a new line as well, and I can say this will also pause afterwards because you can also do another pause for it after. <laughs> so this is what your Perl dialogue might look like. Hello, future Miss Crypt here. Um, I did this part wrong. Um, if you have one at the end, you're also going to want one at the start. So <laughs> if you don't want a positive at the beginning, but you do want one at the end, um, you just put zero. Um, indicating no pause beforehand. Now, before we continue, I should say, when you load the game, the game will attempt to encrypt this file. This encryption is reversible, yes, but it's also just a little inconvenient. This is what that looks like, by the way. If you don't want your file to be encrypted, you can actually replace this conversation ID with the number one, and it should be the same. So now that we've done that, we can actually hop into the game and we can go ahead and load into our save. So for me, that's Monk. And now that we're inside our room, to add the Perl, we want to go to the objects menu in DevTools. If you don't recognize this, that's okay. Go watch my DevTools tutorial. But you're going to want to look for data Perl in consumable. So you will place this where you want the Perl to spawn. So let's say I want it to spawn here. Now I will choose the ID of the Perl. So ours was XX Perl light pink. You can also choose the minimum number of cycles before this can spawn and the maximum number of cycles before this can spawn, and it will choose a random value between the two. So if you want it to only spawn after, you know, cycle 15 and anywhere up to cycle 50, here's what you would put. But if not, and you want it to be just always there, then you can put uh, not applicable just all the way down. And then you can hit save. And now... I'm just going to reload. And look, there's our Perl. And you can see the Perl color as well as the, the highlight glint color. So let's pick this up. Oh, hey, that's my cinder mail Perl. <laughs> OK, let's go see Moon. <laughs> Hello, Moon. Oh, that's right. I don't have the... Uh... Hello, Moon. Hello. Okay, Moon, guess what? I have a present for you. Here are my guts. But that's how you make custom Perl dialogue. Yippee yippee, right? <laughs> okay, 
lastly, before I end the video, I want to go over how you can encrypt and decrypt files. So I briefly mentioned that changing this to be a one instead of the name of your conversation won't encrypt it. If you do want it to be encrypted, you know, you can do, it's, you know, you can just put the conversation ID. Then when you load up the game, it will have encrypted the file. Now, let's say that you accidentally had this happen and you didn't make a backup and you want your file back. How do you get it? Well, you can go to your streaming assets folder, go one folder out into Rainworld data. You can make a new folder called streaming assets decrypt. And inside this folder, you'll make a new folder text underscore ENG or whatever the language is that this is from. Then inside here, you will copy and paste your encrypted file. Now you can load up the game and then you can immediately exit. But when you look at your file, it will have been decrypted for you. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you learned um, something useful from this video and that you can have fun making your own pearls. Bye everyone.